Okay, th thanks for your time, but I don't, I don't think... Nah, that's a gen, yeah. <laughs> Israeli embassy uh, there's police everywhere as uh, uh, from this entry so there's three entrances so there's one entrance here there's another entrance on the other side and there's another entrance on the other side of the road we've come here today brothers and sisters to show what's happening on the ground and we are showing that with our van as you can see we had complaints the police uh, rang the owner uh, who has given us this van complaining saying that we've got some funny images I don't understand what's funny about it we're showing some facts we're gonna go to Zishan and he's and he's gonna tell us a bit more about uh, what's happening um, and there we go one second yeah so salam alaikum bro how are you doing okay alaikum salam alhamdulillah okay. so we're here at the Israeli embassy as you can see they're cordoned off um, uh, as you can see so Zishan what what is really going on on the ground what's 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 um, oh, bro, yeah. there's so much going on on the ground yeah. that it's it just breaks one's yeah. heart. Yes. Yeah. So as as we can see, uh, we put some of the facts there, but this really does not do justice to what's been going on. At least fifty thousand people have been displaced. You've got half a thousand buildings that have been damaged. Hundred and thirty-two buildings that have been completely destroyed. We have at least two hundred people that have died, and now all of these have become statistics. Yeah, they have become mere numbers, but these are people, these are families, yeah, these are people's homes. Yeah, 30% of the people that have died, that have been killed rather, not died, that have been killed, they are children. Yeah, these are young, little children that fathers have, are holding their dead bodies in their homes, and we are standing... Nobody's turned up, this is the Israeli embassy, my friend. What have you got to say? You can you can come. You can tell us what are your thoughts about what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts about what's going on? What's 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 what's, 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 what's your thoughts? I, I'm a British citizen, so I've been employed by my so to what, do, what, do, what, do, what do you think well, about what's going on? Well, I think if no one got right to protest, then absolutely the cause is great, and, uh, and, uh, and it should be done over a peaceful thing. And killing people is not a good idea on both sides, right? Uh, the Irish. Uh, British thing was sorted out over Good Friday, talk, 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 yeah, and uh, you've got to resolve it that way. Killing each body doesn't make you right on both sides. Yeah. 100 I agree with you, but, but how do you feel about how uh, the Israeli state is, because if you think about it... Uh, manufactured by politics and the Second World War, yeah. uh, and the fact that six million Jews got massacred by a Nazi regime, not Germans, a Nazi regime, which was out of control and did what they did, which was wrong, and the whole world should and does know that was wrong and to respect. Uh, Jewish people are no better or greater than anybody, but they need protection from people who hate them. And I think there's a lot of hate going on in the Middle East, which is not right and should be resolved peacefully without... Okay, th thanks for your time, but I don't, I don't think... Okay, as you can see guys, so the thing is, look, we, we believe, like for example, we are against anti-Semitism. That's, that's very clear, you know. I myself and Zishan, we are against anti-Semitism. Look, th th this is something very important, yeah? The, the, the Jews... And Israel, they are not intertwined. You, you should be able to al allow criticism and you should be able to criticize Israeli policy, yes. the Israeli government. They are not Judaism. Yeah? yeah. And this, this is a line that's becoming blurred. Yes. Anyone who says anything against Benjamin Netanyahu is, some, is, is now being, uh, yeah, is no, no, now no. being accused as anti-Semitic. Okay, so this is, is, isn't that, tell me if I'm right or wrong, isn't that the same as, for example, ISIS? carrying out atrocious attacks and we've condemned that it's as good as them coming out and saying anybody that speaks out against us are Islamophobes yeah should we come is, here? is that is that not is that not the reality that if somebody come for example come, if, come, come. if for example if ISIS was doing these actions and if imagine uh, the ISIS members came and said oh if you talk out against what we're doing you're Islamophobes tell me am I right or wrong in this a hundred percent bro the thing is that that distinction needs to be made clear. The way it is at this moment in time, you can't criticize Benjamin Netanyahu. Yeah. But the thing is, when you're on the ground, you realize that a lot of Israelis do not support the foreign yes, policy yes, 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 of yes. Benjamin Netanyahu. Yes. And you can, you should be able to criticize Israel. You should be able to criticize Benjamin Netanyahu. And the thing is, criticizing them, people are too afraid to stand up. But when you're seeing children being held in the arms of their fathers, and Israel killed, has killed. yeah killed, killed. Yeah, yeah, Israel has the Iron Dome. Uh, Palestinians have nothing. Yeah, they just have the sky. Yeah, and you're seeing this and people are equating the two. BBC are equating the two. I'm sorry, that is just not the case. It's not the same. 
yeah and the news outlets that are equating the two is absolutely ridiculous and it needs to be called out it needs to be called out just because you have american backing does not make you invincible exactly you know what i'm saying exactly. and ben uh, and you have the likes of biden that that's saying oh i'm praying for um, a ceasefire i'm sorry it's not the time to be praying yeah and you know what when it comes to other things your condemnations are very clear but why is it when it comes over here you're merely just praying exactly. why aren't, yeah why, why aren't you praying when it comes to other things you condemn when it comes to uh, issues when it comes to muslims and islam but uh, here it's clear i'm sorry it's clear cut and we need to uh, we need to empower each other to speak out against injustice otherwise we're going to create a very uncomfortable world yeah a very detrimental and dark world for our kids yeah what sort of world are they going to grow up in when you cannot even criticize you know a, a, a people an ethnic cleansing of people a genocide of people and apartheid of people yeah you should be able to do this yeah and i don't understand when media saying let's let's hear both sides this is absolutely preposterous and there needs to be a clear condemnation from our leaders from our general public and we're here yeah and the police they have been supportive yeah as you can see they are supportive yes there is a heavy police presence but that should not put you off yeah you need to raise your voice in whatever way that you can